What's up everybody? We're on our way to a casino for Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to all of you. I've never taken you inside of the casino because I'm usually on the gambling floor. But this time it's in the buffet of all places. They're having a Valentine's party. They did sell tickets for it. It is sold out. Should be a fun show. Check it out. Okay, here's my one cartload that I can bring in through ComSat. Communication security. That's all I have. Gotta go park my truck, but first run that inside. Just the front door, get security passes, get escorted to the hall and set up. Now well, they've moved parking on me. I had to park kind of further away this time. Usually I park right by that door, but now I gotta park on the other side of the casino and walk it. All right, here we are in the buffet. Got a couple new friends with us. First of all, we've got two-sided scrim kings. Check this out. A little different than the one-sided. Don't have white ones yet. Those are the black. Pretty cool stuff. And check it out. We are running. The Jelly Dome. And I have 40 minutes to pick out. We're starting with salmon and shrimp. Big shrimp too, big butterflies. All right, I am fed and we got about 10 minutes to so press play. Taking some requests. Got all kinds of people in here tonight. It's always fun playing at the casino. And we've kicked it off with our first song, going out by request. Have you a fun night. Nice people here. Oh yeah, nice, nice, nice start. Old school, slow jams. You're loving it. Here we go. Oh yeah, same story everywhere you go. Get back to slow stuff here in a minute. I had three people on the dance floor. Paused it. Asked everybody to come out so I could teach it. They learned it, now they're doing it. I know that guy's backwards, but they try to ignore that part. Yeah, I'm thinking slow stuff is what I want to stick with. The fast stuff is eh, hit or miss. The slow stuff is always a winner. Oh yeah, we're getting down now. <laughs> they never last long here. About 20. So that was the Valentine's Day gig at Potawatomi Buffet. Well, it was all right. They were happy. I've done parties there before that were more themed than this. Valentine's kind of a broad spectrum. And the thing is, is that this place attracts a lot of different kinds of people. You got older white folks, older black folks, younger black folks, younger white folks, who all are, I, I guess, very opinionated on what kind of music they want. So it's kind of hard when a white guy comes up and asks for something that's very white, like maybe Patsy Cline or something like that, and then then somebody else comes up and asks for like you know some deep new R and B stuff that isn't even crossover, and you want to play the request because it's Valentine's Day, so it was hard to keep some continuity on the dance floor. It ended when it was supposed to end. Last time I was there, I think I went two hours over. The theme was. The homecoming dance you never had, and it was it was kind of cool. It was music from the 60s and 70s primarily, a little bit of 80s as well, mostly a disco type thing. That was very successful. I think that what they need to do is concentrate on theme style nights. That way nobody is disappointed or people aren't hearing music that they just absolutely can't stand because people do buy tickets for this. But everyone seemed to have a good time and had a dance. Everybody had the opportunity to get on the dance floor and hear something they liked. Usually the staff dances a lot more, but well, the flu's going around and I think a lot of them are dosing up on Theraflu quite heavily, so they weren't really in the dancing mood. But anyway, there you have it. Inside look at what goes on at the casino, in the buffet when I gig there. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.